morning, and here we are in the Red Room, one of our kitten rooms at the Humane Society of Tampa Bay, and this beautiful ginger thing is named Aurin, A-U-R-Y-N, <laughs> and you can find information on her and all of our adoptable kitties on our website at humanesocietytampa.org. So Aurin is one of the cats we have in the Cat Positive Program. And that is an, a, an initiative of the Jackson Galaxy Project. We're one of, I believe, 20 shelters around the country right now who are in the middle of the Cat Positive program. We have about three weeks left to go. And one of the big things that we're hoping to be able to teach some of the cats is a high five. So what you are going to see today, hopefully, is RN learning a little bit on the high five. So I am going to stick some dried chicken that I've got here for... A reward for her and I'm gonna just hold my hand up a little bit and I know Aaron so she's gonna do a little rubbing what I'm hoping is that she's going to take one of her paws and touch my hand with it and as soon as she does I'm gonna click with my Jackson Galaxy cat positive clicker and then give her a little piece of dried chicken and I know she likes the dried chicken because she and I have been doing some of this before but she did just wake up and since cats are different from dogs, I want to make sure that she decides that she wants to engage with me. So I'm going to let her do a little bit of rubbing around. And now I'm just going to move my hand away a little bit. Now she's found something else to rub on. So there's two reasons why a cat does that, likes to rub with their head. One is I think there's pleasure zones in there, pleasure areas, so it feels good to her but she's also leaving her scent, her pheromones. And that's one of the ways that cats communicate with each other is through pheromones. It's species specific, so we can't sp smell their pheromones and dogs can't smell their pheromones, but other cats can. And that's a big part of cat communication. So I'm gonna move my hand out a little bit. I'm gonna give about five seconds to see if she will reach out towards my hand with a paw. And if not, then I may decide to get a target stick to see if I can get her to, hey baby. So let's see, maybe if I can make it a little bit easier like this. She just wants to be rubbed. She just wants face rubbing. So her tail is starting to twitch a little bit right there. That could mean a number of things. One could be, man, I know you've got dried chicken and you've not given me any yet. And you can see her ears, well, no, her ears just came forward. So I'm gonna just use this, and I wanna see if she will reach out with her paw. I'm gonna give about another 15 seconds to see if I can get her to do anything related to a high five. And if not, then we're gonna change tacks. Actually change tact, I don't think tax is a plural. <laughs> so she's sniffing it. So two days ago, I was clicking when she sniffed that because we were working on nose bump, but I wanted to, oh, she's got a little bit of movement going on. She may at some point decide that she's going to strike out at that thing. What do you think, baby? Okay, so we're going to change directions. I'm not going to go for a high five today. What I'm going to do is switch to luring, and I'm going to get some treats, so I am going to do a little bit of a bribe here, so to speak, but I'm going to see if I can lure her into a sit, but I'm going to see if I can get her to come down on the ground for it, so I'm going to put that little bit right there and just see if I can encourage her to hop down, and then when she does, hey baby. <laughs> And again, this is Aurin, A-U-R-Y-N, and information on her, all of our adoptable felines, our hamsters and rabbits and dogs, um, humanesocietytampa.org. And we are running a rabbit special right now because we have so many rabbits. All right, so I got her removed there, so now I'm going to bring that up. And she sat, and I'm going to put that little piece of chicken right there for her. Now, whether she necessarily realizes and is associated with the sounds of the clicker means that what's going to happen after that is that food comes 
I don't know if she knows that yet, but that's okay. And she licked it a little bit and then spit it out. So I'm just gonna see if I can lure her over. Once again, I'm gonna get her nose pointing up a little bit and I'm gonna wait now and see if her back end. Good job. <laughs> so in Aaron's case, I keep trying to give her a little piece of dried chicken, but her reward seems to be much more of, but I wanna lick your face or rub, rub on your hand, excuse me. So I'm just gonna, so even though I'm not doing food right there, she just did the behavior I wanted, so I clicked that. One of the little bit different with cats that we're doing this program is that with dogs, usually click means just gonna be food, but with the cats, we're just using the click as a communication signal. So a little bit of luring. She's not following me there, so I picked up that little piece of chicken again to see if I could get it to one more. We're gonna do one more with her and then we're gonna <laughs> there's the set. I was waiting for her rear to actually touch. So I'm going to give her a little bit of rub there and say, good girl, Aaron. So my hope starting that was that we would get a little bit of high five work, but she wasn't willing to give it to me. So then I started working on luring and sitting. And uh, I wanted to have something positive and also be able to teach her something. So. This is an example of what we're doing in one of our sessions in the Cat Positive program. And big thanks out to the Jackson Galaxy Project and Greater Good for uh, sponsoring this program for shelters to do more and more. I was slow on that click. <laughs> for helping shelters do more and more to keep um, more and more felines in the home and safe. And as Jackson Galaxy would say, getting their mojo on. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Please share, again, HumaneSocietyTampa.org. And if you'd like to find that information on our new building, you can also see that on our website or at ShelterThemTampa.org. We're going to be able to save a lot more animals come the end of this year when we have um, more space and also even areas for quarantine. One more look back at the camera, baby girl. Oh, see that little tail witch here? She's, she's done with this session. Her ears are flattening. <laughs> Say goodbye, Aaron.